Hey there, I'm Daniel, and I'm here to talk to you about an amazing concept in the field of astrophysics about black holes called spaghettification. So right now you're probably wondering how this delicious pasta has anything to do with black holes. So to help bake that link, <laughs> you get it because you bake with pasta. <laughs> anyone? Anyone? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But as I was saying, to help make that link, I'll first explain what a black hole really is. A black hole is a region of space that has a massive amount of mass concentrated into a tiny area. These astronomical phenomena don't randomly appear. They are essentially the remains of a large deceased star after it collapses in on its center. This is a vacuum crater. Black holes act a lot like that, but it's like a black hole So if you happen to be an unlikely astronaut one day who happens to glide past a black hole, it'll be a fairly sucky situation for you. You get it? Because black holes suck things in, like vacuum cleaners? Come on, that one was good! Oh. Falling into black holes is exactly what spaghettification is about. As you approach the event horizon of a black hole, which is the point of no return, even for light, what happens is the gravity at your feet becomes rapidly greater than the gravity at your head. This is what scientists call tidal force. This tidal force is also relevant on Earth, but because the radius of the Earth is roughly 6,000 kilometers, 1 to 2 meters in height doesn't really make much difference. But if we compare this to the small and compact nature of a black hole, 1 to 2 meters in height really does matter, because 1 to 2 meters is a significant distance in the terms of a black hole. So as you fall into the black hole, the lower part of your body begins to fall faster than the top half. This is a sort of situation that you wouldn't want to be in. Initially, these tidal forces begin to feel like a stretch, kind of like gravitational yoga. However, this soon goes beyond comfort levels. The tidal forces become so great that they break the molecular bonding binding your flesh together, breaking you into two pieces. And then these two pieces have tidal forces act upon more, breaking them into four pieces and then into eight. So you're bifurcating your way down into the black hole and ultimately turning into a spaghetti string of atoms. <laughs> It has also been discovered that while you're getting stretched by the black hole, you're also getting squeezed by its forces. This is because the volume that you took up outside of the black hole is much, much smaller as you get closer to its center. Come to think of it, doesn't this whole process sound like toothpaste through a tube? Doesn't it? The analogies of the spaghetti string of atoms and toothpaste through a tube really sum up what spaghettification is about. And right now, it probably sounds like spaghettification and black holes are pretty frightening. But you don't need to worry about it, because it's currently the closest black hole to Earth is 1600 light years away, which is a pretty big distance. I'm Daniel, see you later. <laughs> oh, and wait, if you ever want to flatter a black hole, tell it that it sucks. <laughs> oh yeah, come on, that was awesome, come on guys.